What's up guys, Chaz here. If you're new to my channel, I basically teach you photography tips on how you can better your photography. If you wanna do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. So today I'm gonna to show you how to add colors to the shadow and highlights of a photo. And I'm gonna show you that using color balance in Photoshop. Stay tuned. All right, so normally when I have a photo, I like to add colors in the shadows and the highlights and this process is called split toning and I do split toning by using the color balance tool and so I'll go to layers adjustment layer color balance and then you want to go ahead and copy this and so you can go ahead and label these I like to do shadows and then highlights and this will let you keep track of your layers so I go straight to the shadows and you want to make sure this tone is set to shadows and usually when I'm adding colors I like to kind of find the colors that complement each other like typically I've been using red and green lately um, teal and orange is another one that's used in a lot of movies and uh, films so the good way to kind of figure out what colors go to go together is to find a color wheel and you know find which colors match which your colors are complementary so that way you can get a good idea of how you want to set your photo up and use color to draw attention to it so I'm going to add a little bit of red to the shadows and as you can see the adjustments there and then once I've added red to the shadows I like to go to image and then apply image and so you want to have layer merge, channel RGB, blending, multiply, opacity 100. And this invert is unchecked right now. So you want to go ahead and check that. Hit OK. And so now what's that, what that has done is it's put all the red coloring into the shadows. And now let's go to the highlights. So we're going to change this one. Highlights. After you've selected this layer. And you're gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of green. Typically when I'm doing the highlights, I like to add a little bit less of highlights than I would shadows. Sometimes if you add too much highlights, it can kind of overpower the rest of the photo and your, your photo will mostly look like the highlights. So then I go to image again, apply image. Instead of having this checked, I'll go ahead and uncheck this and hit okay. So you can kind of see the little difference there. It's kind of faint and I'll push it a little bit more. There you go. So then I group these together and then you could really kind of see what you've done. So you can kind of see the tones have been added to that photo. So let's do another, another color. So color balance again. Copy the layer. Shadows. Highlights. And so now let's try blue. We're going to try blue in the shadows. Then again, image. Oops. Image. Apply image. Invert that layer for the shadows. Hit OK. Then go to highlights. And this time I'm going to do a little bit too. So I'm going to little do a mix of red and kind of yellow. Kind of try to simulate kind of an orange, a little bit of orangey color. All right, and then image, apply image, uncheck this for the highlights, hit OK. Group these together, and you could see you've got a different type of tone. And you know, you can go in and there adjust these however you like. So if you feel like the shadows are a little bit overpowering, you can dial those back and it'll bring your color back. All right, so that's it. So I usually do that on all my photos. It kind of gives it a different little tone and um, you can kind of play around the colors and again, figure out the color wheel and the complementary colors and what colors look well together. And you can really add some little extra to your photos. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching.